Hey guys, I'm back again. Gary Wyland here, firefighter amputee. And wanted to come a little different today. All right, I appreciate you coming out, watching the video. Um, I'm gonna change it up. Uh, it's called Keeping It Real. So I wanted to talk about some things that I haven't really shared with, with a lot of people um, up until this point. So, but I just, I wanted to touch on some different aspects of, of kind of the day in the life of an amputee. So um, bear with me here. Uh, typically my videos are very positive and optimistic. You know, I try to ins inspire and encourage uh, any way I can and so I feel like this will still be like that um, Just a little bit different not not everyone um, responds the same way to You know Someone who seems to be doing great and, and they can't really relate to that, you know, sometimes so um, I'm hoping that I can reach more people by letting them know that my life obviously isn't perfect um, I still I still struggle and have challenges uh, just like they do just like you do and um, but in, in spite of some of those struggles and challenges um, I still fight and try to adapt and overcome those things to to live live the best life that I can you know with with what I've got so um, so today you know, I'd kind of like to talk about the downfalls um, of being an amputee and just kind of walk you through um, some very, some very simple, simple tasks that are a little bit more difficult for, for some of us. So, you know, um, you can imagine some of the, probably some of the basic, basic challenges, uh, just getting out of bed, you know, uh, overnight. As an amputee, um, the fluid in the body is, is changed now. So um, most people don't have this problem because they're not amputees. Uh, but as an amputee, um, your your residual limb, whether it's your arm or leg, tends to swell at night when you're sleeping. And so in the morning, when you go to put your your prosthetic leg on or arm on, uh, it hurts for a little bit because you're it's swollen. And so it doesn't quite fit, you know, in that socket like it's supposed to. So um, sometimes you don't put it on right when you get out of bed, especially if you just got to, you know, go to the bathroom or you're going to jump in the shower, then, uh, then you're, you don't know, put your leg on to do that. So um, I'll either, you know, get in a wheelchair or use my crutches um, or sometimes I crawl. And it, you know, it just, it is what it is. And, and this is my life. Um, this is my life now for forever, for the rest, you know, for the next 50 years. Um, so that can be hard to swallow sometimes, um, but it, it is what it is at this point. Um, so just kind of wanted to, to touch on the first two minutes of my day. Uh, and then I'm, you know, of course, you know, taking a shower itself is, is, uh, is, is a challenge. Um, obviously it, it's a little slick in there. So, so you got to put some, some padding down and things like that to help with grip. Um, and I had to put in some, some grab bars, you know, and a shower chair, uh, things like that. So I don't, so I don't slip and fall. Uh, so that's, you know, you know, a 40 year old firefighter uh, has to have handicap bars, you know, just to take a shower. You know, it's, it can be tough sometimes to, to uh, wrap my head around that, but, but I do it, you know, it's, it's my new normal. This is, this is my new life. So, um, you know, the sooner I can accept that and move on, move forward, then uh, you know the better the better my 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 mental state is and the, and the better life I can live. Um, so then out of the shower, you know it's you got to be careful when you're drying off and, and, and getting your clothes on things like that. So uh, just that's just first part of the day, um, you know. And 
and then after that you, you've got your leg on for me personally it like I said it the body is, has changed now and so um, the fluid shifts and so the first hour of my day is is uh, you know a little painful because it's my, my leg is kind of swollen and so that that socket doesn't doesn't fit quite like um, like I'd like and so after about an hour it it settles in and it's and it's just fine after that I don't have any issues um, until you know I'm pretty active right and so the, the more active you are then the body shifts fluid around and then my my limb kind of shrinks a little bit so then now um, now there's an there's an air gap you know in there and so um, I have to put on an extra sock is what we call it so you got to you got to fill that that gap otherwise otherwise it'll kind of kind of piston up and down like this instead of together all in one if there's an air gap in there it kind of kind of shifts and when that happens um, you get friction friction burn uh, and so you know that, that can be quite sore um, you get that skin breakdown and and that's kind of where I'm at today is, is I wanted to show you my limb uh, because uh, about a week ago that happened to me where I forgot to put some some lotion on at the right time and the, the sock to fill that gap and uh, went a couple hours without thinking about about my leg um, and so it came back to bite me and so I wanted to show you um, kind of what I got going on right now and uh, you know I've got I don't know if you can see it really well but got a couple sores going on here and down there and over here and so you know it, it kind of kind of puts me down for for a week or 10 days where I can't be as active as I would like and so it's discouraging right and, and I have these little setbacks and so I just I want you to know that I'm doing well right I've, I've bounced back and it's been less than two years since my amputation and you know I I set goals for myself and, and try to try to make the best life that I can for myself and, and for my family and and I'm you know as some of you know I'm on the I'm on Team USA you know sitting volleyball uh, high performance team right and so we go up to Oklahoma City and, and practice every couple months and which is awesome I'm having a great time doing that although with COVID we haven't been able to practice uh, for five months now but um, you know, I'm also recently I've I've found this whole ninja world, right? From like American Ninja Warrior, these little ninja leagues um, go on around the country, and and so it's another another challenge for me to be able to try and, and do that. And and I've you know had some success doing that, and I'm actually going. I've managed to to go to these competitions and um, qualify for the world finals uh, in, in September in Vegas. So. That'll be fun, and you know it's exciting to still, still be able to do these things. But you know, at the end of the day, I, you know, of course I, I can't do everything that I used to be able to do, and, and it's and it's a struggle, you know, mentally. It's it's tough to it's tough to really grasp that and and you know accept that, um, you know, and so so that's that's part of, of why I'm doing this video today is because I, I want you to know that. There are 500 people uh, every day that become an amputee. And out of those 500 people, 50 of them attempt suicide. And so there, there's a huge mental health crisis in the amputee world. And, um, you know, I, I understand. I understand the, the depression part of, of being an amputee. You know, when I first came home from the hospital, it was 
it was tough. I had some some very dark days, and um, you know, I was I was very depressed. I didn't know what my future held. I wasn't sure how I was going to work anymore. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to walk again, and how my how I was going to be able to play with my kids, and but just my entire life, you know, obviously changed forever. Um, and so I had some I had some dark days, and fortunately, I have a huge support system with with my wonderful wife and amazing kids um, you know they all are selfless and, and serving and they you know they my Shauna has, has done a great job of, of raising them and they are just you know, obviously the, the best things that ever happened happened to me and so you know not everyone has that if you don't have that and you're struggling mentally then I will say reach out and find a support group somewhere, an amputee support group, um, or just any type of support group. If you don't have, if you don't have that in your area, um, go out and, and, and serve, find, find ways to serve the community. Um, you know, you know, find a good church, um, get outside like that. That's huge. You know, a lot of, a lot of times are, you know, if I'm feeling, feeling a little down, you know, just getting outside and getting some fresh air helps immensely. So even if you're feeling down and you can't, you're, you're hurting, you know, just get away, find a way to get up and, and get outside and get some fresh air. All right. It really does help immensely. Um, so, so, you know, I'm very blessed. I'm, I'm very blessed and um, able to, to still work and support my family and you know have insurance and things like that and I know a lot of a lot of amputees don't okay a lot of you guys don't um, so I'm actually wanting to start a foundation I haven't figured out the exact name yet it's been kicking around some names um, but the purpose of the foundation is going to be to help people get legs all right um, when I'm down like I can't put my leg on for whatever reason then it's it's hard it's hard to it's hard to function it's hard you know you just don't feel like doing anything and so I understand that and so um, people that that don't even have a leg you know I, I feel so bad for and I want to start a foundation where um, you know, it'd be a nonprofit, and I want to be able to help people get legs um, so they can get up and live their best life. And, um, you know, especially, especially kids, you know, they, they grow, you know, obviously uh, so fast and, and they are always going through different legs they, because they're getting taller and their legs are, are changing and so they have to match the other leg and they, it's very expensive. Um, I've met some kids along the way here in the last um, year and a half, and their families struggle financially um, with with those those bills. And so I want to be able to to help them, right? Um, and then and then the, another part of that foundation, I really want to address uh, mental health. You know, I, I don't I don't want the world to lose um, any more people. Uh, you know to suicide and because of because of what an amputation does to someone mentally and you know um, I want to give them the resources that will help them any way they can to to be able to function and to get over those those bad days and have more good days and, and what they can do to um, to find that that peace and even even overcome that um, and even go beyond that I mean and, and live live a great life you know and, and understand that you can't change the past um, it is what it is you know but you can you can not absolutely change your future you know but um, you've got to set goals right um, right now I've got a goal to to dunk again right uh, I used to be able to dunk before my amputation and now um, obviously I can't but um, 
I set a goal for myself to do that. And, and of course it takes smaller goals, you know, to reach that ultimate goal. So it's, it's baby steps, you know, and don't set this huge goal that, you know, seems out of reach or impossible, and, you know, without setting smaller goals that you can accomplish and, and have success on and then reach that ultimate goal sometimes. So, um, but you also need to understand that um, you're gonna have setbacks. You know, for me personally right now, um, with these sores, they, you know, they feel like, like an ingrown hair or, or a deep, you know, a deep zit, you know, that, you know, every time you touch it, it just hurts, right? Um, but you can't really pop it, you know, you just, it just hurts to touch it now. Most people walking around with a with a, a deep you know pimple or an ingrown hair on their face or leg or whatever, uh, it's not a big deal. But um, you know, can you imagine every time you took a step, uh, you just you touch that part, you know that 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 zit or that ingrown hair, and and it hurts, right? Just ah, every time you take a step, you know. So so can you imagine you know having four of those, right? So. So every time you take a step, it's just like bam, 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 you know, and um, you know it, it's it's tough and it hurts, and you don't, you know, how many steps are you going to take that day? Um, probably not very many, right? Knowing that every step you take is going to hurt. Um, but me personally, you know, I work through it. You know, I, I know it hurts, but uh, I try and take it easy, of course, uh, but. You know, I still, I still got things I got to get done, and so I, I power through and um, do the best I can with what I've got, right? And so, so that's what I want to encourage you guys to do is, is still live your best life. I want you to know that it's going to be a struggle. You know, you're an amputee, it, you know, and, and for anyone else that's not an amputee that might be watching this, you know, you, you, you struggle. I know... Um, struggle with with different types of pain and, and adversity in your life and so just know that there is light at the end of the tunnel you know um, you you can get through it you're not alone you know we are all in this together you know reach out you know and, and find a support system that that you feel good about and it truly does make a difference it doesn't it doesn't mean you're weak you know by any means it, it actually means you're human and you're willing to address those issues that, that you're having in your life. So um, reach out and find someone uh, or a group, you know, and, and overcome, overcome that, that obstacle in your life, overcome that adversity in your life. You know, you can do it. You know, it's not going to be easy. It's not always easy. There's struggles and challenges and pain and, and just that's, that unfortunately is part of life. But I will tell you that the sooner you accept that it is part of life, the sooner you can move forward and, and make your life better, you know, um, make that change, be that change that, that you want to see in your own life. All right. Um, you can do it. You know, I, I'm doing it. You know, it's, it's not easy. I'm, I'm, you may see, you may see pictures on Facebook or YouTube and videos and things where I'm doing, you know, these, different activities and it's it is awesome it truly is I'm, I'm very very grateful and blessed you know I'm, I'm grateful that I'm I'm still alive you know it, it can always be worse right um, you know so so I'm going to use that that gift of life to to do what I can to live my best life to show my kids and my family that um, no matter what happens to you that you can get through it and you can overcome it. You know, you may have to adapt a little bit. You may have to change the way you do things, um, but don't let it win. Don't let it get you down. All right, it's a choice. You know, you have to decide who you are as a person. What's what's your character, right? You don't ever give up, right? You just take those baby steps, make those small goals, and eventually you will reach that, that big goal, whatever it is in your life. And some, for some people it might be just Standing just walking across the room that might be a goal, you know, and that's okay if, if you if that's your goal You know then the next the next day or week set a goal to to walk across You know the whole house or get outside and, and walk 
you know, around the block, whatever your goals are. Some are smaller, some are bigger. You know, we're all in, you know, different parts of our life and journey here. Um, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Just, you know, celebrate those successes that you have in your life and make that next goal and, and know that, you know, there's a good chance that we're going to have a setback. You know, and that's okay. That's part of it. We'll get through it and then we'll be able to move forward. All right. So, um, I think I'll just leave it at that. Um, I hope I didn't get anybody uh, anybody down. Uh, I still want I still want to encourage you and inspire you and, and just motivate you guys to to live your best life, no matter what is going on, no matter what adversity you're, you are facing. All right, you can adapt and, and overcome it and uh, and live your best life. All right, if I can do anything, uh, please reach out to me and, and I'll be happy to, to talk to you or. You know, give you any any insights into my journey and, and what I do and um, to 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 overcome the daily struggles. But all right, if you need anything, leave a comment. Happy to help any way I can. All right, have a good day, guys. We'll see you.